Uh, so I uh, bought a van. Well, actually, it's a bus. I'm a little nervous. This thing probably hasn't run in years. It's pretty much given to me, but they want it moved today. Yeah. Kind of scary. I kind of cleaned up that area. The rest of it kind of looks like that. The cool thing is I can actually stand up in it. But this is a hot mess. This is a real hot mess. I'm so nervous. All right. I don't have time to film. They want it out today. I'm kind of nervous, excited about it. And uh, this might be one of those deals where if I can't get it going, I'll just have to walk. Because <laughs> this is a crazy amount of work. Laters. All right, guys. I got it cleaned out. That was a mess. I'm kind of shaky. It's hot. Uh, they try. Someone else tried to start this thing, and they have messed that all up. So I never have even heard it crank. But it just looks so cool. I'm just gonna take a chance. Hopefully, it'll be worth it, and I'll keep you posted. There she is in all her glory. All right, update on the church bus. Not going well. Um, they didn't have a key for it, so I have drilled it out. And it has one more little pin right there. You have to turn it to the, almost to the start position and then that should pull out. Uh, they took the battery, so I don't even know if this thing runs yet. And so I don't know if I should even purchase two batteries because in these 850 cranking amps, I think it takes two. I don't know that much about diesels. I love that I got this all cleared out. Uh, and I can stand up completely in it. I would say it's about 6'2". Probably a little bit more room if I could take this out. Um, I'm 6'1". Well, the doctor said I'm six foot, so I might be shrinking in my old age. But I can fit in here completely standing up. And it just look, looks cool, uh, but the city found the bus, uh, parked it on a dead end road uh, to a field. I uh, thought it would, I could make it, but uh, you know, the, I just don't think they're gonna give me enough time to get it all legal. So if you get one of these, make sure you have a place to park it. I had a storage facility for it, but I only had the bill of sale and they wouldn't take a, a uh, handwritten bill of sale. They didn't tell me that till I got there. So yeah, so was, I had to park it on on the road, but they, they won't even give me enough time to get this thing going. So this may just all been a pipe dream and just a complete waste of time. Hopefully that's not the case. Um, these floors are horrible. I cannot wait to get this thing done. Uh, try not to watch too many videos on these because it's kind of depressing until I can get this to a, a secure location. All right, hazard work. One headlight, I can drive it all with one headlight. All right, uh, so I found this. So this powers this. This is cool, this is cool. Uh, where, yeah, where are you at, where are you at, where are you at? Aisle lights, check it out. super excited got to get figure this thing out i they messed up the key cylinder i've got it out don't have a new one in there but i think they have just messed up too much in there so i'm gonna have to figure out how to hot wire this thing i guess because i only have a few days to figure this out or they are going to come tow the party bus i actually hope that the uh diesel is out and that doesn't not work uh, and that's only because diesel is biodegradable uh, and it can get bacteria in it and it's still a pain to, to drain it so I don't know if the gauge doesn't work it has a little thing on here that you can't read that says do not let the tank get below and then it's missing below what below what <laughs> I think uh, it's below it but actually that's good news so I'm gonna try to put five gallons of diesel in it and I gotta figure out how to get uh, power to the 
starter without this working. I might buy another one of these. It should slide in, but I don't know if they've messed something up in here. It's it's suspect. Well, that's that work on the bus. The tail light. Well, that's a license plate light. Got one tail light. That obviously doesn't work. And one light up there. So overall, pretty cool. All right, I went ahead and took this assembly off because I'm getting down to the wire now and I just do not feel like the thing will even start. And I was going to change this fuel filter in here. Uh, that's a pain in the ass to get to. But I don't feel like it'll start if this isn't working. So I noticed I took this off and I noticed I think if you push this, it'll start. Like it go, it you know, that's all the way down. This is my assumption. All the way down, I think is starter engaged. That is going to be um, going to be accessory, and then right there is going to be off. I notice now that all this is done, that there is is cut right. That rod is cut, so I think they were just pulling it right here to start it. You just pull it right there. And I think that's starting it. And then when you let go, it lets off the starter. So all that shit, and I think it was all right there in front of my face. <sighs> all right. So uh, I had to test this theory with a hot battery, but uh, I just put it all back together. Ho hopefully it works. I don't want to put any money in it. Uh, then I have to. And hopefully I get that bracket off. I got one more deck with this thing. <laughs> On the very last day that they were going to tow it from the city, I went ahead and got a tow truck and had it towed to the original place that I was going to have it stored. I talked to the manager there, and they actually are going to let me keep it there uh, with the just the bill of sale, and I get a free month. So I can store it for a month for free, and so that's where the build is going to take place. Stay tuned for week two.